Hey, Betty Bash, 29th of July, 2018. Um, I might just have to babble for a while here because this, this just came upon me after watching this clip from the Hagman Show. Um, that this is important stuff that may help a lot of people really understand who the enemy is and how to don the full armor of God wrapped in truth because the truth is the first piece of armor and the most important because without the truth it kind of renders the rest of the armor ineffective you have to know that you're in Christ but before I go there I just want to show you some things that prove out what the enemy is doing has done and intends to do to you <laughs> if you're not in Christ as this spiritual war manifests into the real world it's going to become more and more chaotic more and more stressful more and more fearful and again you need to be wrapped in the truth in the Word of God and washed in the blood of Christ with that said I just want to show you a few things this man wrote a book about the uh, arches of Titus okay there are many of these arches around, but we're going to talk particularly about New York. This is the original Arch of Titus in Rome. And this was to commemorate the conquest of Israel and Jerusalem and the taking of the spoils. Very important that you understand they, they took the spoils of the temple. All the gold, the silver, the menorahs, everything. Okay, this is very important because where the Israelites got all that gold and silver was from Egypt, where they were set free with Moses. Okay, this is exactly how this went that went down. Before they left Egypt, Moses commanded them to go to the uh, Egyptians and get gold and silver from them and, and the Egyptians happily handed it over just to get rid of them because they were being plagued into oblivion so they were sure take the gold silver and leave so they did and that gold and silver is exactly what they used to construct all the implements of the temple as well as parts of the temple so this is very important and Rome represents Egypt because in this time frame it's particularly around Jesus when when the temple was was destroyed the second time it goes even back before that when Nebuchadnezzar's army came in and uh, besieged and overthrew Jerusalem destroyed the temple and took the spoils but they just basically stored them away remember his son was using the temple uh, implements to party with and the finger wrote on the wall and he was destroyed that night well these are the same spoils and so Rome is now spiritually speaking the new Egypt and Rome is what is trying to destroy Israel and is and has brought them back into captivity now to understand all that I cannot suggest to you enough please go and watch this it's very informative and he gives a ton of scripture that allows us to really understand what he's saying and there's a lot of truth to it now I'll, I'll bookmark it exactly where you need to be okay so what I wanted to do what it brought to me was these arches of Titus these triumphal arches which exist all over the world that mark they are Satan's seals they literally are an, uh, an expression saying that I have conquered this land and these people and I am the ruler over it. That's literally what Satan is saying through these arches. And they've been subsequently erected all around the world. All around the world, people, and they mean something. And we have two of them in our city of New York. There's actually two of these things that sit there. One of them is the Washington Arch, which most people are familiar with. And the other one is over in Brooklyn called the Sailors and Soldiers Arch. Now, you need to just take a look at this for just a few seconds and ask yourself, does that not 
look like something exactly out of like a Nazi movie or something. And this is to commemorate the deaths. You, you understand? It's always to uh, honor the dead. And it just the whole spiritual connection to this right down the line throughout history is very detrimental to the body of Christ. Okay? You need to be wrapped in the truth and understand these things to know your enemy and what you're dealing with. Okay? And so we have these two arches that exist in New York City. And uh, what I was led to do is just illustrate to you how these arches play into many scenarios, but primarily 9-11. I just want to show you into a future event that I believe is still to come. Okay? Now, we all know about 9-11. I mean, 9-11 is 9-11. But if we go down into the area of 9-11, we're going to find a chapel that's called a chapel, but it's more of a satanic synagogue or temple. It's known as St. Paul's Chapel or the little chapel that stood after 9-11. That's its new name. Okay? You need to, you need to really wrap your mind around this stuff. This was built in 1766, okay, by nothing less than total 100% Freemasons uh, and various other, you know, secret societies. This is all things that have been done in the dark all along, okay? It's just the way it is, folks. You know, it's one of those things that you need to kind of just come to grips with. Uh, Washington, who is portrayed on the Washington Arch with a Latin phrase saying that the ends justify the means that essentially is what it means okay so we have the washington arch saint paul's chapel thus far outside of saint paul's chapel is a very nice little obelisk this is known as the emmet obelisk you see the steeple there well this is just without getting into the details the it's it's literally a a replica of an egyptian obelisk which is nothing more than a monument and a marker and a almost like an antenna that that emits a, a spiritual energy that when people look at these things and admire these things and don't rebuke these things as the idols that they are they are winning they, they're essentially winning over the conscious the, the 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 soul in effect of the people because they're unaware of what these things represent the evil behind them the pure sheer evil behind them okay so that obelisk is is located here at little saint paul's chapel which faces which altar and steeple face exactly where the new freedom synagogue temple satanic worship center is right next to the eye of the serpent known as the oculus which google earth likes to hide from you but i'll show it to you there's your eye of the serpent the oculus and there's our cute little chapel right there do you see where i'm going with this so we have this obelisk that's here been there since 1766 and it happens to be right in this location where the old towers used to stand uh, we could get into how they planted these groves around this memorial again this is just a mockery and an in your face literally in your face but done in the dark just a spit in the face of god it this is a mockery of mockeries but i just want to show you this this Emmet obelisk that, that bore witness to all of this ritual here and is now bearing witness to the new kingdom being risen up. Satanic kingdom. But I want to show you this. If we, if we travel from this obelisk to another very important obelisk in New York City known as Cleopatra's Needle. This is a very, very interesting and important little uh, landmark they have here. <laughs> and you need to look into this stuff. I, I, I really need to stress that. Now, I had... I always do this. Here we go. 
Cleopatra's Needle. Huge obelisk. It goes through all the different uh, elements of it. I, I'm not going to get into it. But this thing was carted over here from Alexandria, Egypt in the 1880s. Same, oh man, there's so much attached to this, I can't even tell you, right? But I just need to show you the connection between these two very prevalent and important obelisks go right through. Remember, we're talking about the uh, Titus arches. Well, these happen to go right smack through, straight line, the Arch of Washington, okay? This is no accident. This is all this is showing us is the works of the devil, Satan's master builder uh, system that he has been running in the dark, in the secret. You know, woe unto them who do their work in the dark. Well, now they're all being exposed. So it's like this is just another piece to throw out there to illustrate to people what's going on and that you need the armor of god it's just so incredibly important right so we've established that particular layout that goes right through the arch of washington the other arch i was telling you about is over here in brooklyn in a, in a section called kings prospect heights this is prospect park it's shaped like a spear and this arch sits right here at the tip of it. The soldier's arch is just off the hook crazy. I mean, seriously, you guys, you need to go and look at this. If you if you're so inclined, please go and look at it because it's amazing. It's just what they've done right in front of our face is amazing. I just it's the only way I can put it. And and on top of the Washington arch, which you know I I, I should note is exactly 77 feet tall or 23 meters for a reason that sits smack in the middle of manhattan now if we go from this soldier's arch just straight through the arch the way that it faces it leads us over to manhattan and it intersects with that same line i just showed you right here off of fifth avenue this is the New York Public Library and there's so much to this that I can't it, there's too much to go into but I'll at least show you the uh, the details about the New York Public Library it's uh, incredible what this leads to but that's where they intersect and in this red line that you see here is one that I've shown before that runs quite literally all the way from Boston Massachusetts which is the home of the first obelisk and the largest obelisk in the world at the time with a Masonic temple right at the base of it. So we know where this comes from. They don't hide it. But this is very important. This was to, quote, commemorate the Revolutionary War. And then after that, when they established the country, they built for our first president the largest obelisk in the world, the Washington Monument, which sits right adjacent to the White House, okay? And just so for the record, that line is 396 miles long. 396, Just you need to just think about that, okay? And where that crosses directly through Manhattan is quite extraordinary it, you got to agree these three lines all intersect right in this same area and I was led to understand a lot about this area like a year and a half ago I did several videos on it uh, it involves uh, the demon tunnel I, I dubbed it because there is a lot of work going on underground right here as we speak to this day very very large project there and the new york public library also plays a big part in this the lions that guard the front right here are a story in and of itself but i'm going to try and get into that stuff in another video because i gotta go right now and i'll seriously try and pick up exactly where i left off here 
But this, I believe, is totally telling us the area in which we will see the next 9-11. That is my understanding and my belief. And we can go many other places with this. We can go into the Statue of Liberty. We can go in, and we're going to. I, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of moved to do that, to, to show people exactly what we're being shown here. From the devil in the basin to some of these land formations, Sandy Hook, the Trident, all these things play in. This arch is crazy. But I got to show you this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to get back to this. And hopefully this makes sense and blesses somebody. And gives you an understanding of who we're dealing with here. And that you need the power of God to overcome. It's that simple. There's, there's no other savior. There's nothing else that's going to pull you out of this. But the world will tell you different. Man will tell you, will save you if you just do this. So, take it for what it's worth. Uh, I'll be back to share some more of this stuff with you. Peace and grace to you. Many fresh. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 